Now welcome back to another episode of Pack Sember. First and foremost, I just want to announce the change to the schedule. Instead of it being 10 p.m. Eastern, our pack opening series, it's actually going to be happening at 12 p.m. Eastern. So expect either headliners or Pack Sember every single day at 12 p.m. Eastern. At 5 p.m. Eastern, we will stick with either tiers or no money spent. And then at 10 p.m. Eastern, it's going to be the miscellaneous video. So if you're new here and up enjoying today's content, make sure you hit that like button and make sure you hit that red subscribe button and of course go ahead and check out some of the other content that we drop on this channel i have a feeling you'll go ahead and enjoy it as well but enough of the talking you guys already know what we do here we rip 100k stubs worth of headliners packs and just in case i always have to throw this out there if the mic ever stutters or it sounds really distorted it's just simply because my computer it basically drops frames while i'm doing live commentaries so you have to take the good with the bad and let's begin opening the packs now i've been reading the comments and some of you guys the luck that you guys have it's out of this world i'm reading i just pulled mike trout again from headliners i went ahead spent 400k got myself nolan arenado got myself max scherzer and i got myself a couple of other diamonds and made a 150k profit so shout out to every single one of y'all that have gone ahead and basically opened up packs and have made a profit you guys have told me about it and i couldn't be any more happier but come on now you guys gotta pass some of that pack luck on to me and also i read also a comment where someone said i basically started the same headliner series as you i went ahead first pack got two diamonds second pack got another two diamonds or within those next couple of packs he got some really expensive diamonds and he was able to make like a 150k profit or a 50k plus profit one of the two instantly and i was just like wow it can't happen to us but it happens to a subscriber instantly look at that so if you want to go ahead and try out headliners yourself all you need is 5k stubs Put everything else in the community market, put it on Eric Gagne as a 100k buy order or split them into 100k buy orders and then go ahead with that 5k you have, go into headliners, buy a pack and then sell everything you basically get from it until you make 5k stubs once again. Once you do make 5k stubs once again, all you have to do is go ahead buy another headliners and hope to magically pull a diamond in order to make yourself a profit because that's what headliners is about every single time i see two golds i think to myself i don't want these packs for pack summer but if they were to occur for headliners i wouldn't be too mad because getting back 2k guaranteed is a lot better than pulling a common two bronzes and then a silver now we get ourselves our first diamond let's see who it is so we start off with 98 home runs. It's going to be Francisco Lindor. I almost have the numbers down to a T. In this episode, actually, we'll try not to get any of these diamonds incorrectly. So I'm going to go ahead and use my brain to be on point with every single diamond. And today is the 31st. Tomorrow will be New Year's. So just in case you don't watch any of my other videos, happy New Year's. I'm not sure whether I will be making an IRL video for today or upload it tomorrow, but there is one coming. I'm gonna give you guys my little setup, maybe my goals for MLB The Show 20 and for the year 20 regardless, and also go ahead and just wish you all a happy new year. So 175 home runs, Manny Machado. Now, I wish we would have had pretty much 11 more home runs there because then that would have been Nolan Arenado, but I'll take Manny Machado. I'm telling you all, we're two for two right now in terms of guessing the diamonds, and I'm not gonna get any incorrect. Now, hopefully, even though it would make this a bad episode, hopefully we don't pull any more of the blue. That way I don't have to continue guessing and I could just live happily saying to you all, look at that, I went ahead and predicted all the diamonds that we basically pulled in this pack without even getting one incorrect. So hopefully that's the case, but everybody knows that that's most likely not the case as we've opened up these packs non-stop and there has not been an episode where we've pulled under four diamonds unless of course this episode right here it wants to be the first one where we pull 
under four diamonds as it looks like it could possibly be this episode as we are up all the way to set nine and have only pulled two diamonds two diamonds that are live series version diamonds now you don't complain whenever you pull a 5k diamond because you know you're making that 5k back through another headliners pack but you do complain when you only pull two diamonds out of 60 packs and basically you just wasted 100k and only have a guaranteed 10k back now the one good thing about headliners and pack sember is just the simple fact or not really pack sember or i get them both messed up but the good thing about pack sember and not headliners is that we can exchange the commons to bronzes and then the bronzes to silver and then the silvers to golds and we usually make all of our stubs back without a problem like 300k stubs spent will honestly make you at least 200k back without counting the diamonds so think about that headliners to me they're not really a waste 58 home runs matt chapman that's what i'm gonna go with here i could be incorrect and i am this is alex Bregman. So how many home runs does Matt Chapman have? Because last time I could have swore that he had 58 home runs. He might have 49. I'm not 100% sure. But look, we got it right in our second attempt. So does that mean that we got it right in general? I don't know. Y'all have to tell me. So Alex Bregman, 91 overall. We're two for three so far. So, you know, I was kind of hoping we would stay perfect, but... You know, that 58, it just really threw me off because you generally don't see 58s. You see over hundreds, and then you see them usually in the 80 ballpark range. So that Alex Bregman definitely threw me off. And y'all should already know, as soon as we get to set 15, that's where we take a chill pill, basically grab some coffee, grab a drink, grab some tea, whatever it is you drink, and we count how many packs we have left. And then we try to predict or you know basically holy cow now i believe this is the fourth time this has happened to us two diamonds in one pack sometimes all i have to say to myself is i wish this was headliners because two diamonds in one pack means we have made a profit instantly and here we get 97 home runs 97 home runs i think this is lindor you know what I don't know what it is about the Houston Astros. I mean, Lindor has 98, but I said to myself, maybe they shaved off one just to catch me. And now we're going to be two for four, and it's literally off of Houston Astros players. So I think it has something to do with me being traumatized from them beating us in the World Series in, I believe it was 2017. So I definitely think that has to do with me guessing incorrectly. 2,212 strikeouts. I don't know starting pitchers. I really don't. I don't even know who to guess here. But we're going to Candom Yard, so I would assume it's Jim Palmer. It has to be Jim Palmer. I mean, I basically cheated a little bit because I waited till the stadium, or I waited till the stadium came out. But, you know, I'm not counting this. So we're two for five right now. I just suck at starting pitchers because those are the only numbers that I really don't pay attention to since... Nobody wants to see a starting pitcher unless it's Max Scherzer, and that's just the simple truth. Max Scherzer is the only starting pitcher that really sells for anything as we get, I believe, our sixth diamond. 97 home runs again. This has to be Jose Altuve. We're going to be three for six. Let's go. We're going to be three for six. That's what I'm talking about here. I was about to cry. If it wasn't Jose Altuve and I would have looked stupid, I would have cried. So that means we got about three Jose Altuvases, and we'll be making basically 30k guaranteed back everything we've gotten today has been a duplicate so we'll make 30k guaranteed back and then some oh that was set 15 so now we got to go ahead take a chill pill see how many packs we got left so 5 7 11 14 17 19 23 so out of 23 packs we've pulled six diamonds so far i want four i want four out of 23 packs can we do it yes we can come on mlb the show you better go ahead and hold it down for me so the first pack nothing too pretty that to me is the base round when it comes to opening headliners packs as soon as you see a common a bronze a bronze and a silver that means you got the base round because i honestly do not believe or i honestly do not think i've seen a worse pack than a common bronze bronze and then a silver and then we get two silvers and a gold hopefully i told myself four i think four was a pretty good number especially with 23 packs left whenever you see a gold on the second card 
it usually means you have a good chance to pull a diamond in the fourth since it's basically saying that the gold is not the lowest tier card inside the pack or it could easily be saying that the gold is going to be the highest tier pack inside the pack or card inside the pack you guys get what i'm saying don't really focus on me whenever i get the words messed up but as of right now ever since i said that it seems that we're only pulling golds in the second card and that is not what i want to see i want to see blue let me see blue i tell you all sometimes you just gotta ask for it and it'll happen 3192 strikeouts 3.34 era i honestly don't know who this is either He's from the Cubs, so I'm going to say Fergie Jenkins, and that's because I've pulled him previously. I don't think they have any other pitcher from the Cubs. I don't think it's Bruce Sutter. I think it is a starting pitcher, so it's not Bruce Sutter. It's Fergie Jenkins. So, okay, we get ourselves Fergie Jenkins again, once again. That's going to be another duplicate or four for seven. I'm going to count those two. I'm going to count those two because I got to. So we're actually like five for seven. I got to. I mean... The stadium doesn't exactly give it away, but am I cheating at the same time? I don't know. You guys leave that down in the comment section below, and then I'll decide for myself whether or not I cheated or not. So, I want to see blue. We got to see at least three more diamonds and seven more packs. Is it possible? Yeah, 100%. I've done it previously. I've pulled back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back packs with diamonds, so let's go ahead and see back-to-back -back packs with blue. It's up to you, I'm be the show. Listen. You give me, wait, we're set 25. We don't have any set 25s? I was about to say, you either give me Raleigh Fingers or Jose Reyes, and we don't even have a set 25. So that is a little unfortunate. Tomorrow, of course, we're going to have headliners, so make sure you guys stay tuned for that one. And this is our eighth diamond, 2,190 strikeouts. I'm going to say John Lester. It looks to be Fenway. And John Lester is the safe choice. We already have one of him. So we're going to go ahead and most likely sell this one off as well. So I'm going to say we're, I said we were five for seven before. So we must be six for eight. I was going to say seven for nine, but I don't remember any other diamond we've pulled, but we got ourselves John Lester. Let's go. We're doing a pretty good job. You know, six for eight. I'll take it. Eight diamonds. I will take it as well. And now we're going to be down to the final pack. We've made a guaranteed 40k. And I don't know how many golds we've gotten in this episode. But I think throughout the golds that we've gotten, we should be close to making above 60k profit. Or not 60k profit, but 60k back out of this 100k stub spent. Anyways, if you did end up enjoying today's content, make sure you guys hit that like button and red subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all social medias at BladeMiss. Have a blessed day and night. Happy New Year's. From the bottom of my heart, I want you all to have the best 2020 you guys could possibly all have. Happy New Year's. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Stay positive. And I'll catch you all in the next one. I don't know. I messed up the ending a little bit. But sometimes you're just going to have to take what comes with it. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out.